Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the Lenovo Flex 5 2-in-1 touchscreen laptop computer. I bought this from Costco.com on March 31st, 2021. It was back ordered. They said it would take uh, 12 to 19 days for it to actually be shipped and arrived. Uh, the normal uh, the normal price on this is $750, but uh, at the time that I bought it, it was on sale for $150 off. I actually received this a little bit earlier than they projected on April 9th, 2021 via UPS Ground. Uh, so I just wanted to show like how they packaged this up. It's very nice. It's like some really uh, tough... Uh, plastic shrink wrap so I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up this way I can figure out how and we are going to see what's inside so I also plan to turn it on too yeah, it's a pretty tough shrink wrap it looks like all I needed to do was cut along the seams and then I'll be able to open it up. Yeah, so I wanted to show like how this originally came packaged. Very nice and very light. I saw the UPS guy come up. And I didn't even hear a sound when he placed it on my patio. I just basically laid it up against the wall. Ah. So there's that. Lenovo. Um, taped on the bottom. This is Lenovo Idea Pad on one side. And Got a single black sticker here. I'm just gonna cut through that. Okay. So we have electrical cord, the uh, AC power brick. It's got this uh, three prong connector here. Well, it's only going to go in one way. Take this plastic protector off. And as you can see, it's a USB Type-C connector to the laptop. And see, so we got this foam protector here. Got some pieces of paper. Use your USB-C adapter. Uh, safety and warranty guide. And idea pad flex 5 14 inch 15 inch 05 this is the 14 inch or at least it should be take off these protectors oh so it's wrapped in this plastic bag that is not sealed There's a sticker that says Lenovo here. Maybe it's not a sticker. It's actually got some embossing. And on the bottom, you got the, the other stuff. Windows, should be Windows 10. This is the back of it. Uh, left side, we got the, what is that? That looks like, um, I was going to say it looks like a power connector, but that's not the power connector here. 
so we got the HDMI out USB type C the three and a half millimeter uh, headphone slash microphone combo jack we got this tiny little hole with the headphone icon on it not sure what that is uh what is that it's like what is that anyway um we have a four in one media card reader slot and a couple of usb 3.1 uh, type a jacks and so i'm going to open this guy up here oh it's got a keyboard cover protector Lenovo services thank you for your purchase you are going to love this um, I'm not sure if there's a plastic protector covering the screen I'm going to assume that maybe there is uh, so this has a backlit keyboard and fingerprint reader this might be the fingerprint reader I'm not sure so yeah let's see oh oh that is so cool never had a laptop that could do that before oh my gosh that is so neat so um i need to talk about this guy a little bit uh because uh the lenovo flex 5 actually comes in several different configurations and i'll tell you what mine is um so first of all, I, w I was looking, f I'm so excited because this laptop is a really good deal on paper. I was looking for a laptop that was going to be small, like 14 inches or less light. This one weighs 3.3 pounds. Had to have 16 gigs of RAM, do 1080p resolution and be foldable. And most importantly, costs less than $800. And this one fits the bill. Uh, so it's a 14 inch two-in-one touchscreen laptop the CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U with eight cores it has 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4 at 3200 megahertz has a SSD of 512 gigabytes PCIe TLC M uh, let's see what else it has a backlit keyboard fingerprint reader Intel Wi-Fi 6 uh, gigabyte gigabyte and Bluetooth 5.0 the webcam is 720p with privacy shutter uh, it has 1080p resolution that's 9 1920 by 1080 pixels on the screen uh, it has two two watt speakers with Dolby Audio DAX 3. It has a three cell 52.5 watt hour battery. Uh, this comes with a two year warranty with free tech support and 90 day return policy at Costco. Uh, it uh, has an operating system of Windows 10 Home 64 bit. The model number is 82HU002YUS. So let's see if we can turn this guy on. Where is the power? Is that the power? Hmm. Where is the power button? Okay. Where is the power? Is it on the left? Right? Is this the power button? Gosh, I'm not sure. Where is the power button on this guy? Hmm. Do you guys know where it's at? Take a look here. Um, it's probably on one of these pieces of paper here. Let's see. Maybe there is no power button. Number nine. Oh, it's on the side. It's number nine in the picture. I'm 
thinking it's this one. Yeah, that's the power button right there. So it looks like it doesn't come with the power built in. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't come with a fully charged battery. So I guess it's time to plug this guy in and power it on. Dang it. So it uses a three prong cord, which unfortunately I was not ready for. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a three prong outlet here, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Maybe I could turn this around. We'll set up over here. Let's see. Sorry, I wasn't ready for this. So we're going to set up over here we'll put this laptop over here I am going to plug this thing in over there thank you for your patience sorry about that Come on. It's hard to undo these uh, fasteners. Okay, so plug this into the outlet, directly into the outlet, and I'm going to plug this guy in over here. I think it's the left side. So I guess it comes out of the factory bed. Ah, there. So now we have power. Let's see what happens. So I don't know if you saw the keyboard light up. The screen's going to come on. It's probably going to ask me a lot of questions about setting up windows for the very first time. Uh, so yeah, this wanted to say that this computer is actually a really a, a beast and a really good deal so I paid about six hundred and fifty dollars including the tax which is almost forty seven dollars uh, my only reservation about this is the fact that it's a Lenovo but it's a really good deal the best deal I could find at the time and I've been looking for months so several years ago I had a Lenovo H Hi there. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help Lenovo. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yep. God, I love the touch Your screen. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Oh yeah, I forgot to say I wanted to, to have a touch screen too. So yeah, wanted all those things. Had to have uh, a 14 inch or less size screen, 16 gigs of RAM, 1080p touch screen, foldable, and less than $800. And so this one, do you also type with another keyboard That's layout? That's the bill. Nope. Now let's get you connected to a network. So that this... way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Nope. Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Yay. So the biggest thing, I guess, is connecting the Wi-Fi so Windows 10 can do its thing. Now we have some important setup to do. So I was trying really hard to avoid buying another Lenovo. Now let's see what's new from Windows. 
because several years ago I bought a Lenovo H535 desktop PC. It had an AMD A10 processor. Next step, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select Accept to use Windows. 8 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive. And I think the thing... Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. I think the thing died less than three years old. For sure less than five years old. I don't know how long it lasted, but yeah, one day it just would not turn on anymore. So, kind of swore that I would never buy Lenovo again, but I decided to take a chance on this since... Uh, Costco provides a two-year warranty on it. And uh, hopefully if it can survive... Use Windows Hello to unlock your PC with just your fingerprint. It's not only faster, it's more secure than a password. Want to set that up now? Follow sure. the instructions to teach your PC to read your fingerprints. So that is the sensor, this little square here. Want to set up a pin? Okay, why not? my pin going. So as you can see, if you've never set up Windows... These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Yep. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. If you have not yet set up Windows for the very first time, it's actually very easy to do. It kind of walks you through everything. I've done this many, many times. So I guess I'll accept everything by default. You can always change stuff later. In the settings. If Based you need on the to. activities you choose here, you will get a personalized experience as you set up your device. Well, don't do schoolwork. Don't have a business. Go with those four. Now let's link your phone and PC using a Microsoft app that can work some magic between your devices. Oh, we'll man. send you a text to get everything set up. Just type your phone number and press send. I'm using my phone right now. <laughs> I'll skip that or remind me later. My phone is being used to record Want this Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for some added peace of mind? Uh, I guess. I don't remember my password. We'll use that for now. Your PC comes with a free one month trial of Microsoft 365 Family. No thanks. Should we get it right? No trial for me. I don't like with Xbox auto Game charge. Pass, you can play a library of games right on your PC. Would you like to join? No thanks. Join for a dollar? Nope. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Sure. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such. Okay. Protect my device. Blah, blah, blah. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Don't be surprised if it reboots several times during the setup, because that's usually what Windows does. Okay, so basically, um, that's uh, it for my video. Uh, yeah, I just have questions about the longevity and durability, reliability of this brand for lasting many, many years. Hopefully it'll last. I hope this is not a Chinese company that puts cheap stuff in their products. Hopefully that uh, laptop, uh, that desktop I bought years ago and died prematurely was just a fluke. So that's pretty much it for my video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.